If you want to become an amazing lover and be one of the best she's ever had in the bedroom, then you need to know how to thrust during sex. And in this video, I'm going to share five tips that are going to put you at a whole other level than any other guy she's ever been with. So make sure you watch this video till the end. Number one, take it slow. So many men get this wrong and try to emulate what they see in porn and go as fast and as hard as they can right away. And guys, this is just so far from what most women want. Women want to feel connection. They want to feel presence. And if you're just standing back and pounding away, she will feel super disconnected and be unable to connect to her pleasure in the way that she wants to. So take it slow, get really close and be kissing passionately and focus on slow connected strokes with your pelvis in more of a grinding motion instead of just pounding away as hard as you can. Number two, eight shallow and two deep. Don't go so deep right away. Instead, mix it up with eight shallow thrusts, like half thrusts, for every two full deep thrusts. This varies up the pleasure experience for your partner and teases her with those deep thrusts and keeps her wanting more. It's also really important to note that the most nerve endings in the vagina are actually within the first one to two inches. So make sure you get those shallow thrusts in and even taking it out and rubbing your penis on her clit. This will have her going wild with pleasure and begging for more. Number three hit the sides. There are so many different pleasure centers in the vagina. So if you just go straight down the middle as hard and as fast as you can, you're gonna miss out on some of the most sensitive spots for women. Some of these pleasure zones are on the sides of the vaginal walls and 99% of men never explore these areas of the vagina. So if you angle your hips to one side and start to do eight shallow and two deep, she will start to feel pleasure in places she didn't even know was possible for her. Go to the right and then to the left side and you can explore this in various positions, whether you're in doggy or missionary. Personally, for me, this is also more pleasurable, creates more friction and visually it looks amazing. Number four, aim up. Since we are on the topic of angles, it's really important to include how to hit the G spot and how to thrust for the G spot. If you're in the missionary position, you can place a pillow or two under your partner's hips and this will lift her pelvis up, giving you an angle to thrust up into her G spot. Now, it's important not to blast her G spot as hard as you can and instead follow the same theme of some gentle thrusting with deep connection and presence. The G spot is only one to two inches inside the vaginal canal on the top side. So thrust into this gently and ask your partner how it feels for her and let her guide you into exactly what she wants. Hitting the G-spot can be one of the most pleasurable ways for women to have penetrative orgasms, and it can even lead to a squirting orgasm. So maybe have a towel ready when you're thrusting in this position. Okay, now finally we're at number five, the most important tip so you can be the best she's ever had in the bedroom. And number five is undulate between fast and hard and slow and sensual. This is the key. Your partner wants to feel that deep connection and intimacy with the slow and shallow thrusting, but she also wants to feel your power and passion with harder, faster thrusting as well. So undulate between the two, go hard and fast, but then connect with deep kissing and slower, deeper strokes, and then back to some shallow strokes with more teasing, and then again into more intense expressing your pleasure and moaning and sharing with her how much she turns you on, how f***ing hot she is, how much you love her pussy, and give her that feeling that you just can't get enough of her. This will drive her absolutely f***ing wild in the bedroom and can lead to some of the best orgasms of both of your lives. It's also important to note that every woman is completely different. What works for one partner might be the exact opposite of what another partner wants. So don't assume anything and make sure you ask her how it feels and how she wants it all throughout the process. You are not supposed to know. Ask and you will find out. And trust me, 
your partner will greatly appreciate you asking. Okay guys, now you know how to thrust during sex. And if you try these techniques, I would love to hear from you in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for your support and for being with me on this journey. I'm Alex Grendy from Superior Lovers and I'll see you around.